Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you guys a bit about Sundial Growers once again, as there's been massive news that came out yesterday regarding their financial report. Now in today's video, I want to cover the financial report, give my thoughts on it, and tell you guys why this has resulted in such a massive boost in stock price, right? The stock is currently up 4% as of this recording. The stock went up, I believe, like 5 to 10% yesterday. I might be wrong about that, but it had a very good day today. So I want to cover why this financial report resulted in such a bullish catalyst. So for that and more, stay tuned for the rest of the video. But before I begin the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing as it is free and it really helps the channel out. Also, if you're interested, head over to my Patreon where you can join a great community of like-minded investors. And if you join my Patreon, you will have access to my Discord server when it launches in the upcoming days. Also, in the description is a link to sign up to Weeble, where if you sign up with my link, you can get two free stocks worth up to 3,600 US dollars. And after you receive those stocks, you can sell them, you can hold on to them. Basically, it is free money, so check out that link in the description if you're interested in getting two free stocks. Okay, so this is the article that we'll be going over that states, here's why investors liked Sundell Growers Q4 results. And it is written by Keith Spites and is on the Motley Fool website. So let's get right into the article. It states that you can count the number of pot stocks that have been hotter this year than Sundell Growers on one hand. Actually, you'll only need one finger. Tilray is the only stock to narrowly outperform Sundial in 2021 so far, but that could soon change. Sundial announced its fourth quarter results after the market closed on Wednesday. The marijuana stock jumped close to 8% in after hours trading. And here are the highlights from the company's Q4 update. And I'll also give you guys my personal opinion on why this was such a massive catalyst. And that is correct. The stock went up 8% after hours yesterday and was up 4% pre-market and is around 4% up during the uh, actual market hours as of this recording. So let's continue with this article. So I'm going to scroll down. So by the numbers, Sundell reported net cannabis revenue of 13.9 million Canadian dollars in the fourth quarter, up 8% quarter over quarter, but down more than 5% year over year. This result topped the average analyst revenue estimate of 12.1 Canadian dollars. So obviously the revenue turned out to be pretty good for the year again it was down five percent year over year but it was up eight percent quarter over quarter which is pretty good i mean it's not the best growth ever but again it's growth nonetheless quarter over quarter so you can't really complain the cannabis producer announced a net loss in the fourth quarter of 64.1 million this reflected improvement from sundial's net loss of 71.4 million in the previous quarter and its net loss of 145.9 million in the prior year period Sundial also recorded an adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, which is the EBITDA from continuing operations loss of Canadian dollars, 5.6 million in Q4. In the third quarter, the company posted an adjusted EBITDA loss of 4.4 million. So that was basically the highlights from the financial report. Those were kind of the most important aspects. In my opinion, I looked at it fully and I think that these were also the most important aspects as you know, it covers the revenue, the losses, and the adjusted EBITDA. So behind the numbers, right? Taking a look at what's really going on behind uh, all the financials. So first of all, Sundell Growers CEO Zach George know that the company faced headwinds in the last two quarters from the repositioning of its cultivation operations. The cannabis producers made these changes to try to meet the continuing shifts in consumer preferences. And he goes on to state that they've made a lot of work and they've tried to continue to improve operations and that they've also had to transition from wholesale to brand retail sales. And yeah, that's basically what was going on in behind the numbers and you know why there was you know, larger losses and why the revenue wasn't as great and growing at a much higher rate. So the CEO also states that um, the Q4 average gross line price per gram equivalent for brand products fell to 4.4 Canadian dollars from 5.53 Canadian dollars in the third quarter, which is not actually that great, right? You don't want to see the selling price drop, especially quarter over quarter. It'd be different if it was, you know, five to four year over year. So 
that was definitely not great to see. But the fact that their revenue is much higher than the analyst prediction, the fact that you know their net losses is decreasing and improving and getting to a better state, and also that their adjusted EBITDA was okay, I mean, it wasn't great, that has resulted in a bullish sign for the Sundial Grower stock. And that is only a part of the reason why this stock is growing so much uh, yesterday and today. And finally, looking ahead, now I thought that this was a very important section to go over, so I will quickly go over it as it gives a couple of points and aspects of the company that might result in a higher stock price evaluation in the future. So it states that there are several positive developments to look forward to with Sundial. The company said that it harvested its highest potency cannabis flower ever in February. Earlier this week, Sundial announced a joint venture with Sunstream Bancorp. The two companies will work together to invest in cannabis companies in Canada and also internationally, which was very good to see. Obviously, investing in you know national companies in Canada is a smart move, but being able to invest in internationally and trying to accomplish that is obviously phenomenal to see as well. So the reason why the stock is increasing a lot recently is mainly the financial report and the fact that it was much better than people actually thought it would be. The revenue was like 1.8 million Canadian dollars higher than what the analysts thought. So that was obviously very good and that would obviously result in a massive share price boost. So that is basically all there is for this article and that is why the stock is boosting today. We will now take a look at the recent price action and I will be using Weeble to show you guys today's chart. And if you are interested in using Weeble or making an account, check out my link in the description where you can sign up for Weeble and also get two free stocks worth up to 1600 US dollars. So if you're interested in that offer, definitely check out the link in the description. But anyways, as you can see, as of this recording, which is about one hour, one and a half hours after market open, the stock is currently up 4%. Now, that is pretty good growth. I mean, in the after hours yesterday, the stock was up 8%. Uh, the pre-market, it was at 4%, I believe, and it is now currently at 4%. So I think that that is pretty good growth. Obviously, I wish it could be up like 30%, obviously, but of course, that's not how the stock market works, and any gain you can get is obviously very good. So in terms of where I see the stock heading in the short term, or even at the end of the day today, I think that the stock will probably continue to do well in the future. I think that with a lot of bullish catalysts going on right now, I believe that the stock has a lot more room to run in the short term and also in the long term, as I think that this company will continue to succeed in the upcoming years. But again, this is just my opinion and continue to do your research as well if you are interested in the stock and you can make your own judgment on where this stock is heading in the future. So that's it for the video guys. I really hope you liked it and found it informative. Let me know your opinions in the comments below and let me know what stocks I should review next. And I will see you guys soon.